Hi, today I'm going to show you how to set up the APN settings for Loki Mobile. So um, the first thing we're going to do is go into settings. And then here, uh, look for more. If you have uh, Samsung, you might see connections here. So let's tap on that. Look for mobile network. Then you'll see access point names. This one, um, so I'm going to show you. Uh, normally, you might need to tap on menu and create a new P APN. Or sometimes you have three dots here and you see something that says add. So, in this case, uh, you're going to add a new one, and these are the values you should be using. On them, um, please use lock key mobile. Then on APN, connect. Proxy port number, leave them not set. And username, web user one. On password, uh, it should be web. Server not set, and MMSC not set. Then on MMSC proxy, also not set. Uh, MNS port, uh, sorry, MS port not set. MCC and MNC, you usually have it uh, filled automatically when you add the APN. Uh, MCC stands for mobile country code. That should be 302 for Canada. Then on MNC, depending on your specific uh, sub operator, uh, this might slightly, slightly change, sorry. So this one, uh, just don't touch it. Uh, keep the one that you have by default. On authentication type, not set. This one is very important, APN type. Uh, please use default, comma, SUPL, comma, MMS. There's no space in between, okay? An APN protocol, normally you can use either one, but uh, yeah, or you can just select this one, IP version 4 slash version 6. Rest of the field is not required, and just save it, and you're good to go. Okay, once it's saved, uh, you should, you know, be back to the APN list. Make sure you have it selected as a default one, and now try to load up some website to see if you're able to browse. If you find any trouble, you know, just uh, drop a message below, leave us a comment and we'll be get back to you to see how we can help. Thank you.